Welcome to this video tutorial for Stock Investor Pro, AAII's Fundamental Stock Screening and Research Database Program. In this video segment, we provide an overview on isolating data points using the View Editor, enabling you to quickly and easily view the data fields in which you are interested. When Stock Investor Pro first opens, the standard view is automatically selected. You can see which view is currently being shown by looking at the view pull-down menu located here. There are several other views preloaded into Stock Investor Pro. Each preloaded view has an asterisk in front of the view name. If there are certain data points that you often use, you can pull them all up easily by creating a custom view. In order to create a custom view, open up the view editor. There are three ways to access the view editor. Click on the View Editor button on the toolbar, select View Editor from the Tools menu, or simultaneously press Alt and V on your keyboard. The View Editor is divided into two main parts. The left-hand side of the View Editor window shows all the data fields available, and the right-hand side shows the data fields currently selected. Fields are grouped by category, which means that beyond knowing which data fields you would like in your view, you need to also know which category they're in. Let's say we want to add company name to our custom view. If you're not sure which category company name is in, you may access the help system by selecting contents and index from the help menu at the top of the Stock Investor program. You can access an alphabetical listing of the field definitions by selecting field definitions and then alphabetical listing of field definitions on the left hand side. As you can see, each data field is separated by letter. You may also use the search box located in its separate tab. As you can see here, company name is located in the company information data category. To add company name to the view, locate the company information category in the field picker on the left hand side of the view editor window and click the plus next to it. This will expand the category to show all the fields that are part of the company information category and list them in alphabetical order. Next, scroll down the list of fields in the company information category until you find company name. To add the field to the view, either double click on company name or highlight company name and click on the add button in the middle of the view editor. As you add fields, its name will appear in the text box on the right hand side of the view editor. In addition, the total number of fields in the view is displayed in the bottom middle of the view editor window. As you can see, you have to expand each separate category before you can add any data point. Keep adding fields until your view is complete. In our example, we are going to also add ticker, which is located in the company information category. Price to earnings, price to book, and yield, which are all located in the multiples category. EPS continuing growth five year which is located in the Growth Rates category, EPS Growth Estimate, which is located in the Earnings Estimates category, and finally Market Cap Q1 and Relative Strength 52 Week, which are located in the Price and Share Statistics category. Also, please note that the order in which you add fields to the view is the same order that they will appear in the Stock Notebook, as well as when printing a view report and exporting data. When you are finished creating your view, you can save it by clicking on the Save As button on the View Editor. The program will then prompt you to name the view and provide an optional description. Here we name our view Fundamental Data. When you are finished, select OK and Stock Investor will save the view. The view is now created and saved, and you can close out of the View Editor. There is also another way to create a view, using the Screen Editor. Open the Screen Editor by clicking the Screen Editor button on the top toolbar, by choosing Screen Editor from the Tools drop-down menu, or by pressing Alt-S. In the Screen Editor, you can quickly create a view of the selected screen by choosing Make View at the bottom. This option will create a view that includes all of the data fields used in the selected screen. In this example, we will select the Martin Zweig screen and choose to Make View. 
the view editor will pop up with all the data fields selected. You can then save the screen in the same way that we did earlier. After a view is created, it must be applied in order for Stock Investor Pro to show the data fields. The standard view is always applied by default in Stock Investor Pro. To apply a different view, click on the down arrow of the View pull-down menu on the toolbar to reveal the list of views in the program. Select Fundamental Data, which we created earlier, and it will display the fields that you used. In our example, we will open up Fundamental Data and also open up the Martin Swag screen. In the stock notebook, you're able to sort the companies by any of the fields in the column headings. By default, they're sorted by company name. Right-clicking on any of the column headings in the stock notebook will allow you to sort the companies by that particular field in ascending or descending order. Here we wish to rank these companies passing the Zweig screen by market cap from largest to smallest. In order to do this, we right-click on the market cap Q1 column and select Rank by Market Cap Q1 Descending. Once Stock Investor has ranked the stock notebook, we can see that Apple tops the list with a market cap of over $332 billion. In summary, you can isolate the data points you most frequently use by creating a custom view. You can create a custom view by using the View Editor. Apply the view by selecting it from the View pull-down menu, and then finally, you are able to rank your notebook by right-clicking on any of the columns. For more Stock Investor Pro resources, you may visit our website at www.aii.com slash stockinvestor or visit our wiki at www.aii.com slash siprowiki. Email us at techsupport at aii.com if you have further questions or you may call 1-800-428-2244.